Hello everyone, Ictus here, back again with another video. Today's video guys is going to be really special because I'm going to be showing you guys how to exploit the new WhatsApp vulnerability that has just been publicly announced uh, a few days back. And I just made this GitHub repository for you guys to get everything done. This is actually not the first GitHub repository that disclosed this vulnerability. Uh, the credit goes to this guy which created the first public GitHub repository disclosing the vulnerability. You can check out his GitHub repository from this link. And now let's continue with the exploit itself. Uh, so this will allow you to view the public IP of the person that you're calling through WhatsApp. And to achieve this, we have to do all of these steps and then you guys will be able to see the public IP of the person you're calling. So without further ado, let's get started. So now before we do anything, we need to install Hotspot D with these steps. So I'm just gonna copy every command here and I'm gonna paste it to my terminal. And there we go, we've got Hotspot D installed and ready to go. Now we have to start a Wi-Fi hotspot on the attacker machine and then connect the attacker phone to the attacker SSD. To run the Wi-Fi hotspot, the command I'll be using is sudo hotspot t and start. Okay, so now I will start recording on my phone. And now let's see all of the uh, Wi-Fi access points around me. And we can see the Joe SSD which was created from my Kali machine. And I have successfully connected to that uh, Wi-Fi access point. So now this is great so far and we don't need to do anything else here with the Wi-Fi connection. So the next steps uh, uh, is running these commands. I'm going to run the echo command first and then the IP table rules command. All right, so now that this is done, we can start the POC script uh, and on the attacker machine, which is now acting as the router for the attacker phone. And to get the POC script, you just need to clone this repository. So I'm just going to do git, I'll actually go back and then do git clone and paste the github repository link. Now if I do ls we can see that we've got whatsapp hack over here, I'm going to cd into it, list the files in the directory and we can see whatsapp.sh. I'm going to change the permissions of the file to make it an executable. And now we can run whatsapp.sh. So the next things we need to do is call any WhatsApp user randomly to capture the server IP address to filter. And then call the victim on his WhatsApp. So now let's run the script. And I'm going to start recording my screen again on my phone. Now I'll go to WhatsApp and I'm going to call a person. And now we can press enter and we can see all of these packets flowing. Now I'm going to end the call as instructed. I'm going to go back and we can see that the script will reveal the public IP address of the target. And as you can see guys, we have all of these IP addresses over here. And I'm assuming the one that the that corresponds to the person I called is this one. I have just requested the person to send me a screenshot of the uh, what is my IP on Google and this will let us know if we actually got the right IP address. And as you can see guys, he just sent me the IP address that he has and it's 94691439 
and we can see that we have the exact same IP address over here. So what does this mean? This means that we have successfully got the public IP address of the victim that we called. So that is all about this video. I hope you learned something new. Please remember that I'm not responsible for anything that you do. This is just for uh, educational purposes only and do not use this tool without permission. I'll see you guys on the next video. Goodbye.